Hello, world. So it's no surprise that on my uh, Python programming YouTube channel that some of the most popular videos are my troubleshooting videos on my troubleshooting playlist. And this is understandable because most of the Python YouTube channels I watch are when I'm running into troubles. So I go to YouTube first, then I Google, and then ultimately I go on Stack Overflow. So here is another troubleshooting video in my troubleshooting playlist. So what I'm trying to do is I'm using pandas to merge two data frames and I'm getting an index empty. The columns uh, merge, but there's no data in the rows. So let me show you what the error looks like. So I am printing this data frame and I'm getting an empty data frame. The columns are merged, and I'll show you in a second. And then there's nothing in the index. And so I'm not going to go into this full video of what I'm trying to do, but basically I have two Excel sheets that um, have data in them, and I want to merge them based off of this geographic area. So I live in Louisiana, and we don't have county, we have parishes. So here are all the parishes here. Similarly, I have another Excel that has the unemployment rates and it has the um, links, hyperlinks, but ultimately text for each of the parish. Now we have parish comma Louisiana, LA here. And so what I've done is just created a simple dictionary and then for each, um, if you're going to use iter rows in pandas, then you have to pass the index and the row. It's a tuple. And then I'm going to say the area equals, and then we're going to look in the geographic column. So for each uh, row in geographic area, I'm going to remove 10 spaces from the back. So that's to get rid of the word parish, comma, space, LA. And then we're going to append that to this uh dictionary or this empty list and then I'm going to create a data frame off of it called geographic area. Now I've used this code in a previous video which you can watch here to um, build a coral pleth map with um, plotly and dash and it worked just fine and so I tried to do the same thing with this data frame but I keep getting this empty data frame. So if you're running into this problem, the most common reason is it's not matching the um, whatever you're trying to merge on. So there are four different types of merges, inner, outer, left, and right. And this comes from the SQL days. Um, and so I was struggling. I even went on Stack Overflow. And for the first time in a long time, nobody was able to answer my question. Um, so here I am explaining my problem. Um, somebody says I can't reproduce your problem, which is understandable because they don't have the Excel files. And so that's common. This is my answer. I answered it myself, which all decent human beings and programmers should if you find out the answer, which I have, and I'll share that with you soon. And so no matter what I tried to do, I kept getting this empty data frame. And so what I figured out is, is, and here's the troubleshooting steps. So one of the ways is to look at the data types, right? So we're in data frame one. This is the one that um, I've used before. This is here, This um, the first thing I showed you. And, and we're gonna look at those data types now. So we're just looking at one of the Excel sheets. So what we're doing is print, if you're in PyCharm, printing data frame one dot D types. Don't do this. Don't call it. You might see that on, um, that works in a Jupyter notebook. But when you're in PyCharm, we're just printing it. Oops, and I printed the data frame again. Oops. So what we're going to do is print just the data types. And it shows you the data type for each column, right? So this geographic area is an object, which is, um, it's either a string, it's basically a string. 
The census data in 2010 is an integer, 64-bit. Census uh, for 2020 was 64, or uh, integer. And then the percent change is a float. And uh, like I explained in the other video, which I um, gave you a card for earlier, uh, I changed that to a float myself because I use it as a percentage. I'm sorry, in data frame one. So it's a float. But this is the one I'm having problem right, with right now, this data frame three. So, so let's look at that and change this to data frame three. Now, this has the geographic area, which is an object. So it's the same thing, right? If you're, uh, th so this is the first troubleshooting step, is if this data type is integer or float, then it's not going to merge. So if this geographic area, right? So we're trying to merge on geographic area and we're doing an inner. And so if this was to say INT64 for integer, then you need to change it to string. So that's the first step. So how do you do that? right here so let's say this is the um, data frame I was having trouble with so df3 you pass it the column name equals data frame 3 you, you say the same thing dot as type so we're changing the type of everything in that column to a string right we're explicitly calling it right so but even when I did that right I didn't comment anything out yet I am still getting this empty um, data frame. And so I, I checked for two days on how to figure this out. And finally, I went to Facebook, a uh, Python programming Facebook, and somebody helped me out. It turns out that um, this Excel file that I had, uh, let's go to it. So as we iterate through each row, and I remove 10 spaces, so 1, 2, spaces 3, comma 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? I have a trailing space right after Acadia. And if I do 11, sometimes it doesn't work, right? So if I, um, sorry, if I remove 11 spaces, it doesn't always work. And so this isn't even good coding, to be honest. I should do a replace and then replace parish comma LA, but uh, nonetheless. And so what was happening is I have trailing or leading, it turns out I had trailing, um, spaces after I iterated through all these rows. So after days and days of not figuring out, all I had to do was do, after I removed the comma Louisiana, all I had to do is add an R strip. And that is the, um, we're removing all the spaces on the right. And I would have never figured that out. Similarly, you can do an L strip if you're running into the same problem. And um, it will remove the leading spaces. But we're going to do R strip. So now that I have that uncommented out, we are going to just merge this data frame one and three on the geographic area and now it should populate the data there we go so this is the original right here geographic area the 2010 census the 2020 census population the percent change and now we have this the unemployment rate for each one added to this merge right this is an inner merge and it was that simple. All right, so if you're trying to um, merge a data frame and you keep getting an empty index, the first thing to do is print the data frame and the data type of each frame that you're trying to do, whatever you called it yourself, and determine if it's a string or it'll say object. And if those two are different, let's say one is an object, one is an integer, Whatever you want it to be, you can use this right here. Data frame, whatever you called your data frame, pass the column name you want to change, equals data frame, whatever you called it, the column, dot as type, and pass it whatever you want. String, int for integer, float for float, and make sure whatever you're trying to merge on is the exact same. 
Another option is you can just print this, print the row, and figure out what's going on and see if there's any problems. Lastly, if you're doing a string like I did with geographic area or parish, or which is what we call counties, then you might want to consider an L strip or an R strip to remove late leading and trailing spaces. So I ho really hope this helps somebody. These are some of the most popular um, videos on my channel. So I really do feel like it's going to help someone. Please let me know in the comments if this has helped you. And if it has, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Um, if it didn't help you and you eventually figure out what the problem was, um, come back to my video and leave a comment of how you fixed an empty index frame. All right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.